A lateral encephalometric radiograph is a radiograph used primarily for orthodontic diagnosis and treatment planning. Tracing this radiograph is one step of the treatment plan. The first step in image analysis and tracing is knowing the landmarks. Hi there, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to the Dental Radiology. Well, we have some soft tissue landmarks. Why does soft tissue landmarks matter? The orthodontic treatment of the jaws and teeth can depend on the soft tissue. For example, if the lips are too protrude, we can retrograde the non-aligned teeth. Or another hand, if the lips and soft tissue is retrograde, we can protrude the crowding teeth. So let's see the important soft tissue landmarks on the lateral cephalometry radiograph. So let's start with the glabella. The glabella is the most anterior midpoint on the frontoorbital soft tissue contour. To find the most anterior point, bring a ruler parlor to the front edge from the red graph from the right side of the image to the left side to make a contact with the first point of the soft tissue. So this is the anterior point that is our glabella. Soft tissue nasion is the midpoint on the soft tissue contour of the base of the nasal root at the level of the frontal nasal suture. And the same level as its hard tissue landmark is if the head support compresses this soft tissue, the landmark will change the position. Pronasal is the most anterior midpoint of the nasal tip. If a bifid nose is present, the more protruding tip is chosen to determine the pronasal. Clomilla, the inferior point on the soft tissue contour of the nasal labial angle. It reveals the anterior part of the angle. Subnasal is the midpoint on the nasal labial soft tissue contour between the clomilla crest and the upper lip, or we can say the vertex of the nasal labial angle. Labial superius is the midpoint of the vermilum line of the upper lip or the most prominent point of the upper lip. Labial inferius is the midpoint of the vermilum line of the lower lip, the most prominent point of the lower lip. Sublabial is the most posterior midpoint on the labial mental soft tissue contour that defines the border between the lower lip and the chin. Soft tissue pogonium is the most anterior midpoint of the chin contour. Soft tissue menton is the most inferior point of the chin contour. We don't count the double chin. Soft tissue gnation is the middle point between the two landmarks, the menton and pogonium. So now we can name the soft tissue landmarks on a lateral cephalometric radiograph. Okay, that was all for today. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing my channel and helping me to grow this channel. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for participating and spreading out the information to ones it would be helpful. Keep smiling and have an awesome day.